Mate, now, we've, we've been in this whole lockdown world, right? COVID-19, and many businesses are being forced to innovate. And I say that because, you know, innovation and creativity is something that ideally you do regularly because if you wait until you're backed up against the wall where you have to do it, you might mess up. There's so many reasons why you want to be creating and innovating anyway. But many businesses have been forced to innovate. So what can they do to make sure that whatever innovation or creativity they're coming up during this time is going to be of value and works when they implement it? You know, the thing that I think is most important is that, during this time, people have got the most open minds they've had in businesses and industry for the last 50 years since World War II. And the reason is, is that people know that unless they innovate, do something different in their career, in their company, or in their small business, it's over. You're out. You're done. Shut the doors. Mm -hmm. The most important innovation right now is the minds that are open on the people because they have to have open minds is to keep them open. Put a wedge between those open minds and say, what we need is COVID permanence in our minds and the way that we operate so that we can continue to have that mindset that unless we do this, we're going to die, unless we do that. So I think the most important innovation right now is internally in the way that you treat your people and give them permission to be able to do things that we would normally say no to or take months and months and get approval processes. What we need to do is give ourselves permission to stay as open-minded so that all the little innovations can happen and flow in. This is a rare opportunity. And let's just remember, 80% of the Fortune 500 started during recessions. This yeah. is that time. Yeah. So the most important innovation right now, I think in COVID and post-COVID, is keeping the minds open the way that they are. Because yeah, never like important. before are people open to going, how can I add more value? Yeah, like, people are saying, how can I, because I have to add more value or I'm out. Yeah. Like, we have to keep that as a mindset in our economy and our companies. Yeah, and it's true because, you know, as a, when I said the position, the question, some people will wait till there's a crisis or a challenge and then they'll react. It's yep. interesting, curious fact that reactivity and creativity are exactly the same letters and they have, with two, <laughs> two moved around and they have a complete different meaning. Yeah, all right, right? that'll be in my blog tomorrow. I'll be like, hey, you didn't know, reactivity and creativity, same letters. Yeah. And, and the problem is, is that a lot of people, when they're being creative, they literally wait until they are, their back's up against the wall, they're in Christ. I got a couple of beautiful stories I talked to in this from my tour days, like of yeah. guides that have been creative because they had to and it worked really well, but then guides that did and it screwed up and blew up in their face. But because they waited until their back was against the wall, now it's reactivity, not creativity. And that is exactly your point. It's the, but the crisis or the challenge, what you're saying is it, opens it up for us, but now be conscious of that and keep it open, which yes. I love. I love.